Yeah, good evening, beloved. Uh, thank you so much for this great privilege to actually be a blessing to you all. I want to appreciate Jesus Testifier team and also appreciate Pastor Isiaka for doing a lot actually in contributing his own quarter to the body of Christ. There has been a lot that has been going on recently in the body of Christ. And if you are conversant enough, you understand that everybody is an effectual member of the body contributing his own quarter, ensuring that the kingdom of God advance according to the design patterns of God. And every man that seeks to contribute his own quarter is a man that God has decided to grant unto him that privilege by grace to do as grace demands and also do as the wisdom of the Lord has been supplied unto him. I trust God that this night and in the days ahead, we are going to learn a lot in keeping to prophetic definition. And part of the reality of the manifestations of the prophetic in keeping to dreams and in interpretation. This has been a cliche in today's society. And this has been the norm that many have come upon. Although it has been a challenge to many to be able to comprehend and interpret their dreams effectively well. I trust God that at the end of this course, and the end of our discourse, Many will have a lot of light and understanding, and many will receive the required kind of structural knowledge to be able to apply their heart unto wisdom, that they may be guided aright by the Lord in keeping to their dreams and prophetic experiences. Can you ask the Lord to help you in the next one minute? In the next few seconds, as I bring more perspective in keeping to the discourse. I trust God that we are going to be looking at basically the cosmology or the cosmos of the prophetic then we join into the reality of dreams and visions then we look at the sources of dreams then we are done for today and we trust god that tomorrow we take off from there the first thing i need you to understand is that somehow a lot of things has been going on within the cosmos of the prophetic in the world of the prophetic it has become a world of charlatans it has become a place where many have taken advantage of the ignorance of men to manipulate men manipulate people in the name of the prophetic many have become victims of all, all kinds of the immaturity of prophetic individuals as long as the immaturity of many people that call themselves prophets in the body of christ i believe they may be genuinely called by god but because of the lack of prophetic intelligence, they behave like habalists. Others, not truly because they behave like habalists, others are just but babes. The Lord has not yet approved of them to become an umpire and an oracle, speaking for him according to the counsel of heaven. As such, they are deprived of the realm of alignment for them to be able to know that which God is, is saying to the body and that which the Lord is also saying to individual believers. As a result of that, the realms and dimensions in God and keep it to the prophet that they have not joined into and it is impossible for them to be able to bring others into the realm where we, they have not joined into. So many became casualty of their immaturity, others became casualty of their charlatancy. And this has been a window of opportunity to us, many that actually want to merchandise the gospel, many that intend to actually usurp authority and take advantage of the innocence of men, in seeking for the voice of the Lord to take advantage of them, rob them of their dear treasures, and as well as in the name of Jesus, go after that which men have been able to labor for many long time. And this has given prophet a bad name. This has given ministers a bad designation because of a few that have decided to work according to the loss in their heart and work according to the counsel of their soul. This is the reason why I believe that every individual believer must come to maturity, come to a point where he can be able to understand the definition of God and keep him to prophetic so that he can be guided aright by God, not needing necessarily always a soothsayer or a prophetic individual that may speak to him according to the idol of his heart. As a result of that, I demand and I urge you to pay careful attention in keeping to this definition that you may be able to have an advantage in times that are coming. We are approaching terrible times in the body of Christ. We are coming through times in the body of Christ upon which only them that know the Lord their God that can be strong can even do exploit. 
We are approaching a time where the confusion will increase. We are approaching a time where your pastor may even fail you. We are approaching a time where it almost seems to be impossible for even you that perceive God to be able to pinpoint and write according to the placement of Christ Jesus. As a result of that, you need every kind of infrastructure you need spiritually to be able to be guided and right in this journey as we advance. As a result of that, I believe that you may not be too wise enough in the corridors of the prophetic. You may not be too low in knowledge for you to actually truly be able to be able to be part of this which the Lord has put a burden upon the heart of Isiaka. So I trust God that within the few days, many of the things I will say in their modu come, I believe that a little will be applicable to your life and also to be sufficient enough for you to be able to thrive in this journey. We all somehow are endangered species when it comes to the prophetic because we all listen to men. The prophetic is a realm of communication. The prophetic is a realm of speakings. Somehow, because everybody listens to somebody, we all are endangered. And most times, the reason why we are endangered is because what if the people that we listen to truly didn't actually listen to God? If what they tell us is a lie, if what they profess and try to let us understand in the name of the Lord was not actually in the name of the Lord, it means that truly speaking, we are going to be endangered because we believe in the utterances, we also believe in the words where we have spoken. As a result of that, we have to be able to ensure that we have the Spirit of God as they have so that we can be able to checkmate and discern that which they are speaking. If they speak by the counsel of the voice of a dragon, it should be discarded. But, by this, but, 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 but when they speak in the order of the Lord, there will be a witness within our spirit to be able to accept it or to be able to actually pray against it. Because the prophetic works in two ways. Either you accept whatever is spoken or you discard it. As long as you do not agree with it, it can never be, it can never be fatalized. The fatalization of everything speaking as a prophetic word requires your own agreement for it to be able to be able to find expression upon the face of the earth. And mind you, your inactivity, your refusing to actually say something or agree with it is actually also in agreement because if you refuse to choose, you'll be choosing for in the realms of the spirit. So you must understand that it is the intention of God that we actually have to grow. To a point where we become independent in the prophetic not totally independent from god but independent from prophetic voices that we can be able to discern the movement of god discern the voice of god in times and seasons there is a need for us to come into maturity as prophetic individuals to be able to discern the voice of the lord by our own self not necessarily actually always being glued to a prophet at all time and that is why we must be able to go to that level of independency if we must strive as believers you must understand that actually it is true that man is designed to truly solemnly depend upon God at all times. And that is why you must you must you must acclaim and align your senses and, 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 and spiritual intuitions to the voice of the Lord at all times if you must be able to have an advantage in operations in keeping to God. I realize that lately in the body of Christ, many have been glued to a lot of prophetic individuals because of their immaturity. The immaturity of so many people have made them to glue to a lot of prophetic individuals. And this may be good in itself, but bad for them. Because whatsoever it is, a time is going to come when those prophetic individuals may not be there. When the Lord begins to shake the foundation of the earth, a lot of times, what actually men are, 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 are lose is actually the voice that speaks. When God begins to cause a shaking, the voice that guides men is what men lost, actually. Because the shakings of the Lord comes to actually find out who and who is truly actually hearing the hearing the Lord at season and at timing. So when the prophet is no longer there, you discover that you cannot hear the voice of God. That may not actually be good for you because at that time is the season when men backslide. When actually men could not be able to discern the voice of God for men, as such, they cannot discern the voice of God directly to themselves. And that's not what the Lord intended actually. I remember a story of a man that actually was an arm robber. And this thief actually wanted to give his life to Christ, went to a church. As he stepped into the church, there was a prophet that was invited to the church to minister. And the prophet began to prophesy. And as he was prophesying, immediately this thief walked into the church and he called the thief to the, to the front and began to prophesy unto him. Let him to know that the Lord is the support of that which he's doing. And thus says the spirit of the Lord that God is going to prosper him in what he's doing. That that which you want to give up, he should not give up 
in it because actually the hand of the Lord is upon him. And that the Lord intends to take his business to the next level. And the business upon which he's doing, the Lord said, is going to cause him to expand. Well, the thief was wondering, I actually came to give my life to Christ. But here I received a prophetic word. He was amazed. He went back to his friends and told his friends that he never knew that God was interested in what they are doing. Now they need to expand because thought says the Lord from the mouth of a prophet that they need to expand their business. What they were not doing before they began to do. They bought more armories, begin to kidnap more people, begin to kill many people. Why? Simply because a prophet prophesied to him while he came to the church that he should go and continue that which he's doing. I do not know why the prophet did what he did. Paraventure he did not hear God. Paraventure he wanted to please men. Paraventure he was misaligned and disaligned. But one thing I need you to understand is that the strength upon which that individual went was actually the strength of the prophetic word. He went innocently upon the strength of the prophetic word of a prophet and he went killing more people because of the immaturity of the prophet and the lack of discernment of the prophet and also because of his immaturity. And that, of course, by the mercy of God, a time came. He went again for another escapade and many of his friends were killed and after they were killed the lord asked him wouldn't you go back to repent again he went back of course not to the former church again he went to another church and gave his life to christ genuinely what i need you to understand is that that young lad was actually a victim of the immaturity of a prophetic individual i need you to understand that it is the intention of the lord that we grow to a point where in our seeking in our seeking for guidance as everybody is seeking for guidance we must come to that point of maturity in the prophetic because truly guidance in life can only can only be able to come via the prophetic intelligence of the lord anytime you receive guidance in life anytime you receive a word from the lord anytime you receive an instruction from the lord is because there was a you align yourself to the prophetic speakings of the lord whether you like it or not we are called as a as, as a prophetic people to be apostolic in function our our calling in God is prophetically. Our definition in God is prophetically. Our placement in God is prophetically. Our strategic impact and influence upon the face of the earth is prophetically. Whether you like it or not, you are born at such a time as this prophetically. You are not born in the time of Elijah. You are not born in the time of Abraham. You are not born in time past. Why? Because according to the definition of God, the blueprint of the volumes in keeping to your life, in the codings of the Lord, this is the time where we ought to be born. Prophetically, God has strategically sent you upon the face of the earth at such a time as this for an apostolic and a prophetic invasion and you must understand that the definition of God in keeping to your life can only be able to find expression if you are prophetically placed arise, arise. your first prophetic placement is in God your second prophetic placement is in Christ Jesus your third prophetic placement is the Holy Spirit your fourth prophetic placement is in the body of Christ then your fifth prophetic placement is in the sphere of influence of life you must understand that whatsoever you do it you must understand that prophetically your life is defined according to the template of the Lord and for you to be able to understand that template you must have certain level of intelligence prophetically for you to know what the Lord is doing with you or doing with the body of Christ or doing through you I need you to know that any man that cannot discern the voice of God, he will discern the voice of Satan. And this has been the casualty in the body of Christ up to now. Many people that have been able to discern the voice of the devil was simply because they cannot discern the voice of God. And the voice of God is not discerned in the letters that kill it. It discerned in the revelation. It discerned in the rema. And the rema comes itself prophetically. The speakings of the word of the Lord comes via a prophetic definition. And many more times you may, you may actually miss that definition in the prophetic because it comes subtly. I need you to understand that the intelligence where the communications of God are done are not done in a way that a carnal man can be able to understand and that is why only a man that is fueled prophetically according to the blueprint of the Lord can truly be able to understand the speakings of God because God can speak to you through a billboard God can speak to you through a tree God can speak to you through your friends God can speak to you through anything he decides to speak to you how can you be able to understand this if you don't understand the ways and the operations of God you want him to speak to you through the Bible but sometimes he wants to speak to you through diverse ways through your academics through your classroom through something circular you are studying through all kinds of things and so you must understand that the men that perceive God were men that were malleable and doctrine were men that were flexible not rigid in keeping to a doctrine not rigid in keeping to a logos you must understand that truly speaking if you cannot discern the voice of God you will remain confused in life for so long and I realize that any man that must manifest the prophetic more 
than his depth in scripture is actually questionable what i mean by that is this as you begin to join in the poverty god will lead you to begin to study your study gives you infrastructure and knowledge so that you can be able to be balanced accurately and right why because the realm of the spirit is a wild wilderness it's a really really a realm of the spirit where diverse kinds of spirit operate mind you demons are spirit demons are spirit angels are spirit god is spirit you too, you have a spirit. All kinds of individuals have spirit. So the realm of the spirit is a wilderness. I mean a wilderness, a pure desert and a wilderness. Nobody has an understanding of what is going on in the realm of the spirit if not guided and helped by the Lord. What will give you advantage in the realm of the spirit is the knowledge you have is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Ghost himself is a teacher. What does he teach you? He teaches you prophetically according to the required knowledge you need to function at, at a time. The Holy Spirit doesn't teach you everything. You must understand that the teachings of God is said is prophetically. There are certain kind of knowledge you need as a season. There are things you read today, you learn today from all kinds of books. You don't need them. You may never even understand them. Why? Because prophetically, they didn't form the structure and the skeletal system for your workings in God. The only thing that will form the skeletal systems for your workings in God right now is the prophetic definition of God in keeping to your life. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is simple. That anything time God want to actually elevate a man. He lead him through a prophetic definition in scripture. What does that mean? He lead you through a light. He gives you an understanding. He speaks to you via a word. You must understand that the entire of the Bible is not meant for you. Yes, you find what is written about you in the volumes of the book in the Bible but you find this thing prophetically. Any man that actually bear influence upon the face of the earth found something written about him in the volumes of the book. How did he find it? Are you not reading the scripture? You are reading but what he did was that prophetically the Lord opened his eyes to see a light and that light that he saw was what guided him the advantage to do whatever he's doing today so I need to let you understand that it is impossible for you to fully fully truly always understand the operations of god if god does not lead you to prophetic men what i mean by prophetic men is not man is not a man that is called as a prophet no somebody that has that intelligence whatever you think you know today was actually imparted to you by a man by a spirit by an individual i don't care but whosoever but there must be a certain level of intelligence you got from somebody what do that mean whether you like it or not, there are people that are very rigid in the body of christ when the lord demands you go and learn until you will never learn and that's why you remain the way you are what i mean by this is this whether you like it or not when you dwell with god you become like god but mind you you're becoming like god come through the gateway of man what i mean by this is this when god encounter you he refer you to men and this man is referring you to our custodians they are guidance of truth men that he doesn't waste resources upon these are men that he has given them privilege to become faculties in the definition of his operation and these men are custodians of his mysteries and dimension these men become the gateway where which you can also enter into certain dimensional operation in him so there are men that are prophetic men upon the face of the earth, which you can also become one but before you become one you must be equipped to become one and that is why at different seasons at different times god will lead you to study to learn to actually be impacted to actually come under the kind of educational system of a prophetic individual for you to come to a point where you can have that certain level of impactation god will demand that you enlarge your capacity god will demand that you create an atmosphere develop an atmosphere of the spirit of the lord so that you cannot be able to edu be educated in the spirit and the things of the lord whether you like it or not when you actually develop the prophetic atmosphere god educated prophetically when you develop an apostolic atmosphere god develop you apostolically what i mean by this if you align yourself with apostolic people there is every chance and tendency you will function apostolically when you align yourself with pastoral people there's every chance that you will function, you will function like a pastor when you align yourself with evangelists there is every chance that everything about you is evangelism when you align yourself with prophet there's every chance that everything you do will prophetically what I mean by that is this you must come to a point where you balance this in the realms of dimensions there is a realm of the prophetic as a dimension there is the realm of the apostolic as a dimension which a pastor can partake of which an evangelist can partake of which a teacher can partake of so you can be a, an evangelistic prophetic individual a pastoral prophetic individual because you need guidance you also need doctrine establishment so a pastor must align to apostles an apostle may align to a pastor a reverend, a, an evangelist will also be able to align to a teacher you must understand that these things are connected together so at diverse season when the lord intend to equip you 
he, he released certain kind of impartation via men to be able to bring you to this realization and this will let you understand that you must be able to develop this atmosphere of the prophetic if you must be able to grow prophetically that is to say you need somebody to let you understand that, that these are the things that are available within the prophetic definition of god if not you may not give heed to them certain people did not function the prophetic today because nobody told them nobody told them that it's necessary it's needed for them to see vision it's needed for them to to take advantage of their dreams nobody told them that there's something like actually the gift of the spirit nobody told them that there's any there's something like actually the manifestation of the prophetic nobody told them there is something like visions like dreams like trance like daydreaming nobody told them that anything prophetic that exists why because according to the definition of the man upon which they follow these things are not things that he has enlarged his capacity to be able to contain mind you jesus christ functioned in this and we are supposed to go to the statue of christ jesus so what does that mean it means that your pastor is not your conformity your father and the lord is not your conformity your mentor is not your conformity they are very good but you must understand that your conformity is unto christ jesus there are many realities that jesus christ are pay a price for that you are not taking advantage of and the reason why you are not functioning in them is because you're not taking advantage of them and because nobody has let you understand that this thing exists as part of the reality just kind of pay a price for in the body of christ and i realize that a few that have dared to walk upon this prophetic pathway the few that have dared to walk upon this cosmetology this world of the prophetic have, have actually not been equipped right i realize many have not enlarged their capacity many felt is an astral realm of oppression others felt is actually an occult realm of oppression others felt is a realm of liars and fakers is a realm that that is given to charlatan and that is why the charlatan have succeeded in anyway because genuine prophetic voices have no reason if genuine voices rise in the prophetic i assure you the the them that are not genuine will be silent the solution to the fake prophetic voices is the rise of genuine voices when the genuine voices rise everybody gravitate towards them mind you the body of christ has a lot of followers everybody is a follower we follow do you understand what i'm saying and because we follow we are endangered especially because whosoever you follow will determine whatever you become and many more times in our innocence we follow men because maybe they are result maybe certain kind of manifestation and how will you know they are faking it how will you know you only know when you have enough capacity to know that they are profane you cannot know what is fake if you are not real yourself Yourself. the only way you can know something that is not original is when you have the original with you if you have not touched of the original if you have not handled you cannot know what is original i realized that recently no amount of capacity is enough no matter how much capacity you have need to add up more capacity add up more capacity knowledge add up more capacity in prayer add up more capacity in certain level of intelligence recently my phone my phone is 128 geek and I realized that even without an SD card, I thought that space was enough until when I began to put things inside. And I realized that 128 gig is not enough. It still requires much more capacity, much more strength. And that's to let you understand that even if you have a terabyte space, it's not enough. A time is going to come in the upgradement, in the development, in the body of Christ. You may require and you may be needing much more wisdom, much more knowledge, much more understanding to be able to have an advantage in the body of Christ. Daniel was a prophetic individual, but he was not not actually he was not an ignorant man many of you are ignorant many of you don't have a level of what i call structural impartation and that is why you behave like how this you cannot be able to perceive the voice of god you give people instruction just the way you feel why because you felt the prophetic is is a realm is, is a realm is, is a realm that is not guided by knowledge i assure you the prophetic is a realm that is guided by intelligence and knowledge so you must understand that wise men in the prophetic build more capacity they build more capacity praying they build more capacity studying they build more capacity knowing and and learning and in the prophetic you have to continue to learn as you learn you learn how it works you learn how it doesn't work and the bible speaking said if you fail in the days of battle it's because your strength is small it's because your capacity is strong is, is small that's to let you understand that many people are going to actually fail in the days of battle because their strength and their capacity is, is small in keeping to their knowledge in the prophetic if you try to add more files to your phone and you tell you that no memory space that's the same way that it happens a lot of times you must actually understand that your life sometimes the reason why you cannot function in god is because you have what i call low memory space and that low memory space is your limitation in god it's not because god is limited but you as an individual prophetically you are limited to be able to understand god a lot of times god finds it very very challenging to work with people that cannot understand him because God needs to be understand. Your little level of understanding grants you encounters which now reveal him to you. But without that level of understanding, there cannot be a foundation for him to build that superstructure who he is upon you. 
I realized that many the Bible says deep call on to deep, deep call on to deep, not shallow, call on to shallow. That is to let you understand that only a man that is truly seeking for God or seeking for an understanding on an aspect of life, whether the prophetic, whether the apostolic, whether the pastoral, whether whatsoever that can be able to understand it. Whatever you don't set your heart towards, it cannot unlock unto you. Anything you don't face in the body of Christ, you cannot have an understanding of it. I realize that many people that know God to a certain degree actually have the chance of knowing God more. Only the proud and the arrogant one that don't know more. The spirit of wisdom and revelation work with a man that knew God a little bit. That little knowledge of God you have can actually take you deeper because deep call on to deep. And I realize that wise men in the kingdom build more capacity. Foolish men do not do capacity. They utilize the one they have built and they don't build again. And the time is going to come when the resources of the treasure where we have deposited in heaven is not actually sufficient. The Bible says store up treasures in heavenly places. The more you store up treasure in heavenly places, the more you make withdraw from the treasures that you have stored up in heavenly places. You must understand that that how much more you can make withdraw from heaven depends upon the capacity that you have in heavens. You must also understand that the prophetic works in diverse manner. The prophetic is a realm that works in diverse manner. I realize that the prophetic works territorially. The prophetic works governmentally. The prophetic works priesthood. Many of you, all what you knew about the prophetic is what you saw one babala doing within your neighborhood it's what you saw one charlatan or one fake person doing in your neighborhood it's what you saw people do in excitement of people you know there are a lot of things i see going on in this and i wonder this this has nothing to do with the prophetic the sole goal of the prophetic is exhortation is edification is comfort it's not fun fun is not part of it it's not laughing matter anytime a prophetic word comes upon you you're supposed to bring a burden upon you you're supposed to bring you into conformity to a nature and the character of God. The prophet reveals Jesus. The prophet reveals the intentions of God. The prophet reveals the heart of God. Anything outside of this has nothing to do with the prophetic. That is soothsaying. That is charlatancy. You must understand that many of the things people call the prophet. That's why people remain in church for the past 15 years. Receiving prophecy it doesn't come to manifestation. It doesn't call them to duties. It doesn't call them to actions. It doesn't call them to responsibility. They stay there shouting amen and nothing changed. You must understand that the prophetic is not a realm to excite people it's a realm of responsibility it's a realm to bring people to an understanding of what god is doing look and look over time check out through the old testament true prophets are not loved by men true genuine prophets are not loved by men they are men that are hated by men why because they speak the counsel of god they speak the wisdom of god they speak the intentions of god and any man that speaks the counsel and the wisdom of god is hated by men Nobody will like him. In the world of the prophetic, if you are loved and liked by everybody, something is wrong with you. In fact, as a minister, you cannot be loved and liked by everybody. It's impossible. Why? Because truly, if you are speaking to the people not according to the idol in their heart, I assure you, they cannot like you. Because the word of the Lord comes to challenge the darkness in people. Even we as ministers, God rebuke us all the time. God speak against us all the time. God did not just come for you. There are times he come against you. There are times he come to you. When he come for you, he come to actually defend you. When he come to you, he come to fellowship with you. When he come against you, he come to rebuke the darkness in you. He come, that is why, that's why many people lie today. All kinds of lies on the pulpit. All all kinds of fake prophecy they give and they still believe that they are exciting when people are clapping for them and the lives of the men are not changed the burden of god does not rest upon their heart and men still go back the same and for many years whatever they say doesn't really really come to pass you must understand that the prophetic actually revealed jesus the prophet actually revealed the intentions and the burden of god upon the lives of an individual an individual upon the face of the earth that we all can come into placement in christ jesus and come into maturity to function according to the intentions of god Truly, the prophetic has a creative spirit that creates the blueprint of the codings of your ordination. Every true prophetic word spoken unto you should be able to create. If it doesn't create, you have been excited. And if you have been excited, you have been deceived. The only thing that can happen is that you will clap for the man, you will celebrate him a big man, but I assure you, you will not be activated in the body of Christ. The prophetic is an activating key, it's an activating tool that God has actually placed to be able to bring men into an impartation to function like him. 
you must understand that the sons of Jacob were prophetic seed that was planted in time and they find expression in time as the 12th tribe of Israel then they immortalize themselves in the book of Revelation to become the foundations and the cornerstones also together with the apostolic in the new Jerusalem you must understand that the prophetic is actually an arrowhead the prophetic activates you the prophetic doesn't excite you when was the last time you went to a prophet and you came back crying I assure you you met a genuine prophet but when you went back to somebody and he comes and everything you see was how God will give you a car give you a, that is good but let me tell you the truth there is a deeper realm of the prophetic than this in the world of the prophetic it's not the world of talent and see it's not the world of profane and fake people you must understand that I don't need anybody to like me as long as the Lord understand what I'm doing as long as the Lord actually have a definition in me may mind you many more times the Lord told me many years ago Philip Cephas if you follow men sometimes you may be misaligned with me if you follow me men may not like you but you be aligned with me you must understand that a lot of time for you to be aligned with men it means for you to be misaligned with God but for you to be misaligned with men it means for you to be aligned with God a lot of time people may not have to understand you but does God truly really understand you you must understand that as you follow men follow them as they follow Jesus Christ whatsoever they function in whether you call it the prophetic whether in the establishment of doctrine if there's not the weakness of the spirit within your spirit you must understand something is wrong somewhere in the realm of the spirit like charges attract on like charges repent in the realm of the spirit if i cannot witness to that which you are speaking i assure you something is wrong somewhere you are giving air to the voice of a dragon you must understand that we belong to a codom and assembly in the spirit we may we may not be recognized physically we may not know you but the day i hear you i hear your voice i can witness within my spirit that truly there is god in this one there is the dna of the prophetic or the apostolic or the pastoria or the supply of the grace of god upon your life what we saw right now going on is a display of carnality how a lot of people by the agency of the giftings of the prophetic i believe many are gifted many are not but i needed to understand that these things are actually a realm where many can manipulate and the only way for you to be able to actually not be part of their charlatancy is to actually have a good definition of who god is number one then have a strong foundation in intelligence prophetically to understand the sole goal of the prophetic number one to reveal jesus Number two, to activate the destiny of men into full functionality. Number four, to actually bring guardianship to the body of Christ. Number five, the prophetic is a creative is the creative key that God used to actually advance his kingdom. So you must understand that the prophet find expression, like I said, territorially. Territorially in a region so that he can bring the entire territory to the sub to, 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 to the submission of the lordship of Jesus Christ. And anytime you see that the territory is not subjected to the lordship of Jesus Christ, but the souls and the lives of men is taken advantage of, that is not God. Governmentally, the prophet find the expression governmentally. When was the last time the Lord gave you a word for the government? That is why you see a lot of times when you begin to have visions and dreams, God begins to reveal things to you and keep into government. Why? Because that is how the prophetic works. God begins to give you vision and dream given to the government so that you can pray and intercede on behalf of the government. Prophetic work according to priesthood. Priesthood is so that you can establish what I call legislation. Because there are laws binding our lives, laws binding our territory, laws binding in our region that are not divine so by the understanding of priesthood prophetically as an individual that god has called and defined and given his dna you cannot be able to edit again those laws because legislation is enacting again a new laws It's part of the thing that god has given unto the council of the benign elohim that we might be able to have this privilege to enact new laws in the kingdom we must understand that we need to be able to come to a point where actually where the word of the lord can be seen in our day and time how by we establishing new laws because there are laws that are not keeping in alignment to the government of god and the only way we can be able to establish these new laws is by legislation i believe that it's impossible for us to be able to advance in god if we neglect such operations because of our lack of limitations and intelligence the entire work of god in old testament was prophetically it was the prophetic that mothers and bet the apostolic it was also the prophetic that was actually like the balanced leg for men to function it was through the prophetic that many have an understanding of where they are going in god who they are in god and actually what they ought to do in life in keeping to their assignment in god without the prophetic they may not be able to know there we must actually also be able to understand 
that you cannot be able to walk alone you need you need to actually have the lack of the prophetic what i mean by that you have to embrace it if you must have and understand what god is doing with you when i see people tell me that they are confused what they want is the word of the lord and that is what they could have actually developed within them when a man has intelligence prophetically what happens is that he will always have the word of the lord at his back and call there is a prophetic as a grace but there's also a prophetic as a realm and a dimension of functioning in the body of christ and it also that prophetic as a tribe in the spirit for the balancing of truth and for guidance you must understand that the realm of the prophetic find expression via the manifestation of the experiences of the prophetic the tribe of the prophetic find expression via a column in the spirit where many others can bring others and also the dimension of prophetic find expression in diverse ways you can call it the giftings the manifestation of all those other realities like the visions and the dream these things are good but you must understand you need to be able to embrace all of these things in the world of prophetic for you to function in keeping to the prophetic you must actually be able to understand first of all that in the prophetic apart from just the prophetic office that is what i call the prophetic throne the throne of the prophetic where god exhorts other people giving them the privilege to sit upon a sphere of influence that can never be deterred these are men that are plunged into the realm of the spirit and plunged into the very throne of god they get access direct from the throne of god to function as actually custodians it is men that sit upon the throne of the prophet that can bring others into it because others that sit upon the office actually miss it but others that sit upon the office are promoted to sit upon the throne in the region the giftings of the prophetic also find expression in diverse manners you can see that in different in different manifestations of world of wisdom world of knowledge all those there are a lot of giftings of the prophetic that find expression in the life of individual but in the prophetic you must also be able to understand the language of the prophetic how the prophetic actually god speak to you via types and shadows god speak to you through pictures through shape through symbols through numbers through all kinds of things and in the prophetic you must understand what i call visions visions of the night visions of the day you must also be able to understand trance and daydreaming you must understand understand that some of your trance some of your loss in thought some of your data some of the things you may not be able to understand that you call them demonic actually a process of god in the prophetic you must understand what i call spirit transport certain times many of you are transported in the spirit but you don't know you are caught up in the spirit you are taking the spirit taking the region taking into spheres but you don't know because nobody lets you understand that these things are things of god you call it of the devil a lot of times the spirit of lord come to take you through a flight in the spirit take you through a journey in the spirit but you believe these things are demonic as a result of that you do not embrace it and that's why you are not enjoying certain possibilities of god many times when you see people that scribe and document things many times they were transported from their room to the very throne of heaven sometimes you find yourself praying from here and you're taking to china taking to india taking to you you are taking in the spirit these are prophetic experiences if you don't understand this word of oppression you may not be able to understand and comprehend it the prophetic find expression through dreams and revelations you must understand that dreams and revelation is pivotal and that's the thing we are going to narrow into one of one among the definitions of prophetic experiences is dream and revelation it's a reality in christ jesus and this is one of the things that we are going to give perspective to also and you must also understand that in the world of the prophetic you must understand angels and their encounters you must understand the visitation of angels i have never seen a prophetic individuals that does not understand angels no angels in fact many have personal angels i personally have a lot of angels that work with me i know them by name i have seen them i have been with them i assure you you must understand that in the prophetic it's not a realm, it's not an abstract realm, it's a realm of intelligence and understanding. No one walking this realm without having a right understanding. He must have been shaken by immortals, he must have been walked by the immortals, he must have been, have been approved by them, he must have been given a right hand of fellowship, he must have had an association in the spirit, he must have been known more in the spirit than in the physical. No prophet is born in time, every prophet is born in eternity. The shooting of a prophet from eternity into time is actually the revealing of the destiny of a generation until the prophet is born a generation will always be in jeopardy you must understand that the rise of a prophetic individual is the guidance we need in the body of christ as a prophetic individual you must understand the prophetic of the angelics many of you have despised angelic encounters many of you don't know how to relate with angels many of you don't even know how to give intention in most of when i go for a meeting when i start angel is here people look at me and wonder angel is here until when they begin to see people falling under anointing and say ah, oh the angel is here but the problem is this the angel came to actually release an impartation even upon them but they were in the flesh as a result of that 
even what he did they could not be able to receive you must understand that partnership in the realms of the spirit is not just only with god you partner with god you partner with men you partner with angels you partner with all kinds of spirit if you must truly be able to be aligned and this you can only understand when you understand prophetic intelligence in the definition you must understand that many of the speakings of god are prophetically you can never be able to understand the lord if everything you think you know is the logos that you get from your head check through your scripture the reason why the scripture is very hard for you is because you are not reading with also a prophetic eye because many things in scriptures are in types and shadows and until you understand that types and shadow means in means the prophetic because the prophetic is see you only for them that are seeking for them to be able to find